Have you ever gone out and bought some decor for your house like artwork or throw pillows or a lamp only to bring them home and find that they really don't work in your space? Do you have a hard time even describing what you want your home to look like and feel like? Are you unsure of where to start decorating your home? Well, finding your unique decorating style is the first thing that you want to do when you start decorating. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. When I was just starting to play around with decorating our home many years ago, it took a lot of trial and error and time and money wasted to get it to a place that I loved and would call beautiful. Back then, no blogs or online courses taught decorating. There was no Instagram, <laughs> there was no Pinterest. The best we had were magazines filled with perfectly styled, professionally designed homes. No one told me where to begin or how to even find my unique style. So I fumbled around for a long time, trying to figure it out for myself. Eventually, after several years of practice and much time and money spent, I finally got the hang of it. I figured out it doesn't matter how big or small your house is, where you live, how many homes you've lived in, or how many times you've tried to decorate before, where you start is always the same. You always have to find your unique decorating style. I like to call it your unique style DNA, and it's kind of like solving a puzzle. It helps your design choices become clear and confident, turning all those scattered ideas and things that you see here, there, and everywhere on Instagram and Pinterest and maybe magazines into a complete and cohesive style that's uniquely you. Here's how to find your unique decorating style. Number one, Ask yourself how you want your home to feel. Do you want it to feel whimsical or sophisticated, relaxed or elegant? You need to choose a few feelings that you want your home to convey and take the top three of those feelings and write them down. Step two is to purposefully gather inspiration. Purposefully gathering inspiration leads to clarity and confidence in your design choices. You can use magazines or books like I did, you know, way back when, but I recommend using Pinterest now, not Instagram, and Pinterest. So create a whole board that is for your house inspiration. You know, pin all the things that you like, all those inspiration pictures that you've sort of scrolled through and seen, and then deliberately search for things that you know you like, if you know what you like, and pin those things. You can create separate board sections for each room in your home, but I would say for now to just stick with one board and pin everything to that so you can see it all at one scrolling glance. Number three is to analyze those pins. Look at the pins that you've collected and see if they have anything in common. What patterns, shapes, textures, colors, materials, and even design styles to see what your pictures have in common. Write down your top three of each of those things pattern, color, texture, shape, material, and even style if you know it. Now compare those, all those things that you just wrote down, to the three feelings that you wrote down already. Do all of those things go with the feelings you want in your home? Do those things align? For example, if you choose and pin a whole bunch of chrome and metal and sleek things, this is a very drastic example, but if you do that, but you want your home to be warm and cozy, those things don't go together. So go back to Pinterest and repin more pictures that suit the feelings, those top three feelings you, you wrote down, go back and pin pictures that suit that and then look for the commonalities again. Defining your decorating style is the first step in decorating your home because every single decorating choice you make after that is based on the decorating style that you love. You can find your style by identifying how you want your home to feel, purposefully gathering inspiration, and then analyzing that inspiration for similar colors, shapes, textures, patterns, and materials. I highly recommend those three steps, but you can also go and take a quiz. I have a what's your decorating style quiz on my blog, and I'll put the link to that down below the video so that you can go check that out and maybe it'll help you define your decorating style a little bit more. Your style can be one of the standard decorating styles like farmhouse or glam or country, but more likely than not, it will be a combination of the decorating styles that are uniquely you. Remember that purposefully gathering inspiration leads to clarity and confidence in your design choices. So purposefully go and gather that inspiration and figure out what your unique decorating style is. If you like this video, make sure you click the thumbs up button down below. And if you want more ideas for how to create a stylish and organized home you love, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel or visit homemadelovely.com.